Hey YouTubers, what's going on? It's your finest host about Mike. I thought I had been to this video hours ago, but I've been preoccupied dealing with the deal I did with uh, with a friend of mine named Eric. Really, really nice dude. Um, I've been getting a lot of stuff from him um, lately. Um, you know, I've been you know doing some trading. You know, I, I love to help people. You know gather stuff that they that they want and need for their private collection especially the stuff i'm passionate about like gi joe um and you know we looked out for each other let's put it that way so i'm just gonna leave it as that but um this is this, this i think i got like five boxes of stuff like you know um not like i can't explain it they're probably the size of like a a box that you would either that that you would find that have like two to three um bottles of bleach that come in you know like that size box full of comics about five of them and then there's this one making it the sixth one these books here are the books that are mostly interesting to me um you got these bad boys in here which these are a lot of first appearances and third appearances of of people but, I mean, you know, just because they're first appearances don't mean that they're great books. But, don't mean, you know, it is what it is. This is what I me. Mean, I'm a Wolverine fanatic. And, you know, this issue just really drew me. I like this issue a lot. That's why I kept it. These are older books. Um, I didn't get a chance to look at these as of yet. But, you know, whatever. Um, and then there's a stack of comic books here. You know, um... Like this one is like basically a ten dollar book. It says the lonesome death of Johnny Blaze. Um, this is Ghost Rider number forty two. So this is basically from the original uh, books, not like the new remakes. So that's pretty cool. Um, so this is stuff I may just keep for myself. Um, you know, then you got some first appearance of Bishop right here. I mean, you know, you got Iron Man, well, the Invincible Iron Man, um, number 64, not the best book, but, you know, that's why I put eight bucks on it, because it goes for more if it was in better condition, as you can see that little nick right there. But, you know, come on, this is an old book, so, you know, can't go wrong. Then we have here, uh, ten dollar one, ten and plus, number 78, Iron Man, um, so these are like a lot of bronze stuff, but anyway... I digress. I'm not going to really go into those details with that stuff. It was a good deal. He was happy with it. I was happy with it. Um, I didn't want a lot of this stuff, but, you know, I don't like when people, you know, because I hate when I go places and I feel like I'm being mistreated or treated like a crackhead when I go to sell stuff and then people don't want everything. And it kind of it kind of does get on my nerves a little bit. Not to say that you, you know, what I mean, it's just something with me. So I basically took 80 about 95 percent of his stuff um that i could probably do something with um you know so it was a favor to both of us you know i helped him get rid of stuff he didn't need or want and at the same time he wound up getting stuff that he don't have to come out of pocket buying so it was a you know it was a a good deal for both of us you know but all our deals were smooth you know we had a little hiccup with some um hot wheels cars but that was uh immediately rectified so that was pretty dope of him so anyway moving on to the stuff that i picked up yesterday because obviously today is still saturday i need to go take a shower and get ready to uh you know what i'm saying to go to sleep so i can be out of the house no later than 4 45 5 o'clock so i can be there i'm thinking about going there earlier tomorrow so i can you know get a lot of stuff um you know what i mean i'm really kind of dreading you know, uh, walking around for hours like I did last week, but I'm not really trying to spend crazy money like I did last week, neither. But with that basically being said, this is some stuff I picked up thrifting um, this Friday. I didn't go Monday through Thursday, and I heard it was garbage. And Friday, if Friday wasn't great proof of just how shitty the rest of the week was, at least toy-wise. So, um, this I did ironically get um, this is actually a $4 um, bag of books. We have Marvel's Rising. I don't know what this book is about, but I'll just put this with the other books and, you know, whatever. And then we have here The Mighty Thor by Walter um, Simonson. Then we have Deadpool, Dead Presidents. Uh, then we have here Moonshot, 
the Indigence Comic Collection Volume 3. Then we have Punisher Max Frank. So, you know, all these are like four bucks for all these books, like six books in here. So that was pretty dope. And then I got like three bags of Hot Wheel cars. I thought, thought it was three. Where's the other one at? Oh, right here in my face. Um, these are like five bucks a bag. Um, two bags have six cars in it, while another bag only has five. You know what I mean? But, you know, I'll probably keep the better cars. Uh, you know, Isaiah, I think Isaiah already looked through these and he, did, he didn't want anything in here. But I already see right here the 75 Mazda. Um, that, you know, that one's going in the collection. This Volkswagen Beetle convertible. Anything that anything that resembles a real car, definitely gonna go in boxes. Uh, everything that resembles like uh, generic cars, we don't keep. I don't like dealing with those kind of cars. Like in here, you have here a passing gasser. That just sounds crazy, but it's, it says number four or five, so. You never know. Maybe there are five of them in here. If there are, I'll keep them all. If not, man, nah, whatever. This is actually only two bucks. Um, this is pretty cool. This is an old um, Ghostbuster thing. And it's funny because the lady I got some Ghostbusters from last week. I don't know why she put this on here. I think sometimes they do this purposely. Because, uh, you know, this could peel the actual emblem. You know what I mean? Thank goodness it wasn't. It's not on there long enough. This is why, I like you know, I always get you know, like as soon as I get stuff, I take the stickers off because the longer stickers stay embedded, it can cause a lot of damage. I already took the price off of it. I mean, you know, like um, the permanent marker. Now I got it. I mean, you know, for a dollar, for two dollars, excuse me. And this is what nineteen eighty four. So I'll put this in my Ghostbuster thingamajig. So I'll just put this up here. And this is also what I got. I got five of these empty bins. So you got one, two, three, four, five. And again, I know people like to tease me and make fun of my dungeon, a.k.a. my basement. No, it is not a finished basement. I do have a brand new finished bathroom, though. And, you know, me and my son, like, especially my son, when he comes down here and works out and use the gym, as you can see, gym in the background. We take showers down here. Um, and you know, hey, it, 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 it defeats the purpose. We have a deep freezer. We have another fridge with freezer down here for overflow of stuff. Um, it works perfect. No mold, no nothing. And we have file cabinets over there. Metal ones full of rice and other stuff for stuff that we don't have to worry about mice or anything getting to. We have uh, two washers and dryers, functional. And I have my own uh, don't have to pay storage fees storage down here so at the end of the day my dungeon does you know um you know it does have its purposes only catch 22 is you can't come down here and lounge you know but hey it, it does its purpose so that's all i care about anyhow moving on so this thing um i was very very shocked being that some of the, uh, some of the guys there you know i'm surprised somebody didn't know what this was i knew exactly what it was especially when i saw this name brand when I saw that name, and on top of that, when I saw it said Billy the Kid, I knew this had to be a licensed piece. So when I, when I went to grab it, I couldn't believe it was only three bucks. And I was like, holy shit. So I grabbed this quick, and I was hoping and looking to see if there was any more. Unfortunately, there wasn't. But still no, this thing goes for around 30 to 50 bucks all day. I don't know why this girl priced these at $2, but hey, I'm not going to argue with it. Um, Titanfall and Call of Duty um, Advanced Warfare. I don't have a I don't have an Xbox One system here. Um, as you see here, where are they? Oh, so here it says PlayStation One and Two systems and games. I believe I only have a original PS One in here. I don't have a PS Two yet, but I'll get that sooner or later. Here's a PS Three system with games, and this PS Three is boxed, but I need uh, PS Three controllers. Then down here we have uh, Microsoft Original Xbox. Then under that we have a Wii. And then under that I believe there is... Actually, what the hell is that? I think it's a PS4. It's a PS4 down there. Then in this 
thing here says video game related RC cars and toys. So anything that's related to video games, as you see the, I about to say Mazda, the Monopoly Zelda is in here. So, and I always put this stuff in here. It helps the stuff smell good because after a while, when you have stuff in bins, it doesn't matter how clean your house is or whatever. It has like a weird urine smell, like a very weird nauseating smell to it. And I like this stuff to smell like my house. You know, my house always smells like a laundromat or detergent, which is a good thing. And, you know, I like whatever I'm taking to toy show to smell exactly like that as well. So, being, and on top of that, believe it or not, this stuff actually keeps your stuff from rotting, mildew, and it keeps it um, fresh. So, yeah, to that. So, moving back to this. So, here, um, the only Funko Pop that I actually kept was the Star Wars um, number 22, Jabba the Hutt. Uh, this actually sells for around, you know, 20, 20 plus dollars. So that was a good plus. This was actually eight bucks. Um, I think I overpaid for it, but, and I don't even have a Wii U. So <laughs> go figure. Um, then here, I got another one of these dinosaurs. This is actually four bucks for this um, Jurassic World dinosaur. Um, and yeah, normally I would leave all this behind. But, you know, the thing is when you go to like a lot of other thrift shops, these things be like 15, 20 dollars each. So, this was the steal of the show here. This is eight bucks. This is actually for a company. Um, so yeah, this is all I got. You know, I got this. I got the uh, the bag of hot wheels. Well, the three bags of hot wheels. This little novel thing. This, the two um, Xbox One games. The Wii U controller. This Funko Pop. This Jurassic Park. Um, Tyrannosaurus. Jurassic World. Excuse me. Jurassic. Um, Tyrannosaurus Rex, those five bins, and this thing here. This thing here basically makes up for everything. Uh, let me take this out real quick so I can show you. When I saw it, I knew exactly what it was, and I was like, oh, oh snap. So I thought that was pretty dope. And the fact that it's still bagged. I mean, you know, a lot of people don't really know what these are, or I'm, su I'm surprised it was still there. You know, um, I don't know who, somebody overlooked this thing. And this should be the Art or, um, Artel. This might actually be a newer one. It is Artel, I could see it in there. So it's old, because Artel doesn't make these anymore. And this is actually poly bag, so it should be going for more. It might be worth a couple of hundred instead of just 150. Because I've seen one used at 150. I didn't see too many up here. And this is in the original poly bag. And this comes, this goes directly to the company. So it's not like one that goes out to people. You know what I'm saying? Because um, they actually put this in their showcases in their, uh, in their Chevrolet dealerships. So that's pretty dope. Um, I was I couldn't believe that was that was just sitting there. So I grabbed that ish quick So yeah, that's it man. So, you know in a couple of hours, maybe I'll do another video and I'll show you guys what I got um, I gotta you know finish a deal off with uh, with Matt with Jerry's Matt uh, I was trying to take some stuff to him and Jerry to see if they wanted it But they're not biting on anything right now. I guess right now everybody either got too much stuff or whatever. So It is what it is with that um, but you know, I might take a couple things with me just to take, um, there's a good chance I'm pretty confident none of it's going to sell, but I'll still take a couple things with me. Um, and then I'm still, I'm still be making a deal with Eric. Um, not, not, not black Eric, not the Eric that I did this deal with, but Eric, the promoter of the Woodbridge and Edison toy show. Um, I'm actually real cool. We're actually real cool with each other. Um, and, uh. I'm basically selling off my four boxed um, Transformer Titans. I don't need them. Um, I really, you know, prefer, you know, whatever. I'm doing a lot of shit, and I really don't need them. So I'm getting rid of the Legacy Minosaur, I believe, or Legacy Metroplex. The Cabina Wars Minosaur. Um, the Auto Autobot Arc. And... Um, the Omega Supreme. I, I think the Omega Supreme is from the war, the, the siege or some shit like that. I got them all boxed, still sealed. So me and him already made a deal for that. And um, I have some Gentle Giant Star Wars stuff. Maybe he'll take that. But I'll take that with me to the market tomorrow. Maybe I'll find somebody who'll buy them. I doubt it, but 
you know, one never knows. If not, I, we could deal with him with that stuff too. Then I have like a, a loose, um, I have a couple of, um, you know, I have a couple of loose transformers and stuff like that. Um, and I think I'm going to also take him my legacy, um, Minnesota. Uh, the five pack because I sold off all my siege and all the other stuff so I might make a deal with him with that stuff as well so I gotta take that stuff upstairs these are the empty boxes right here those are the boxes for them now some of y'all might ask or see cogwebs and say wait hey why you don't get rid of those first of all I actually collect spiders I actually have tarantulas I used to be terrified I had a bad only thing I fit on the earth I'm over which is arachnophobia I actually own tarantulas. I play around with them. I handle them. Um, I, that's not really recommended. You got to know the temperament of the animal uh, because they are still wild animals. They're not animals that can be trained to be d docile unless they already are. Like you have some species that are just malicious. Then you have some species that are like the pink toe that's very docile. But then you may have one or two out of that particular pink toe species that can be aggressive or get agitated or scared and bite so you know handle those with care but again you know being that i have you know you have all types of ants and bugs you know in your basement so i don't mind the cogwebs until they you know until they get to a certain point plus they actually kill a lot of bugs and I, you know i i'm not a superstitious person but like i said I, I like i like i like spiders i haven't gotten bitten by one yet and you know and you know again so if that answers your questions, if it doesn't, I don't know what to tell you. You know, don't concentrate too much on my fucking basement and concentrate more on what I'm showing you. Anyway, peace.